Hello planners, welcome back to my 12 days of planning series. Today marks a significant milestone. It is day nine. We are an inch closer to the grand finale of the series. The festive season of Christmas is upon us and before you know it, it'll be 2024. But what truly sets my heart racing is the prospect of unveiling my A5 six ring planner for 2024. I shared with you all in my planner and journal chat with me video, which was an early video in the series. Um, but I said I would be using cloth and papers clear vinyl cover for the start of 2024. And although I love this and I can't wait to use this, I have gotten distracted since recording that video. Um, as you can tell, I have picked up a cloth and paper planner. This is the star of today's show. Let's open this up. This is the cloth and paper foundations six ring leather agenda in the captivating color Cortado. Oh my goodness. Wow. This color. Wow. So pretty. Um, wow. This is just so elegant and sophisticated. I'm definitely in a neutral phase right now. I. I love neutrals. <laughs> so I've just gone for a darker hue and I really like this because the undertones are warm, fits perfectly with my aesthetic. First impressions, um, let's see, let's open this up. Oh, hmm, the rings are noticeably different from those in the Filofax. Um, they are smaller. Um, I believe these are, let me check. These are measured at 30 millimeter. And then the Filofax was, the Filofax is 35 millimeters. So not that big of a difference, but still visually, the Filofax just seems so much bigger. We'll figure out if small rings are a good thing or bad thing once the inserts are in, but, um, but yeah, smaller rings sometimes means that they won't be as heavy. I do love, love the silver hardware. I'm a sucker for silver hardware. I love gold too, but I like gold as an accent to like dress things up, but not as my everyday. Like even my wedding ring, silver and I like that better. Yeah, the design details don't stop there. I love that the credit card holder here is in the front panel. I mean, this just opens up a world of creative possibilities for layering dashboards, deco cards, and accessories. Yeah, I'm excited. I do have a couple of concerns. Um, I, I get it. There's every planner has like its own little quirks and, but first opening this up, I instantly noticed, and I don't know if the camera will catch it, but do you see like this bump here? It's like a wrinkle or an air pocket. I don't know. I just, I don't really know much about leather. Um, but I just feel like this shouldn't be doing this. I mean, it could, I, like I said, I know nothing about leather, but this could just be like the natural charm of it. For a Virgo like me, this might bug the crap out of me. Did come with a disclaimer. <laughs> um, leather is a natural product from animal hides and therefore differs from hide to hide. Variations in the texture of the leather should not be considered a fault, but inherent of the natural beauty and uniqueness of the leather. Oh, there is a pocket up top. Oh, but there isn't any packaging in here. That's odd. I would have wanted to keep that, but. 
so yeah um this the planner has great potential like i really do like it um yeah i really do like this for 2024 but anywho let's shift gears and just begin the exciting process of setting up um i think what i'm gonna do is just lay out my 2024 inserts in the order that i'll be placing it in the planner um starting out we have the perpetual calendar by rosie <laughs> um papa puppeteer <laughs> okay so this is the perpetual calendar I really like these inserts by rosie like the paper just feels so good like high quality it, it has a smooth finish um, I believe the paper is 120 GSM, bright white paper. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of these inserts. Like, I'm so excited to use these for 2024. This insert will serve as my future log. I see it as a neat and organized space for jotting down upcoming events, appointments, and travel plans. I think before I was just jotting things um, on a piece of paper under a column for the month and it just looked a bit messy so me using this as my future log it just aesthetically makes it look a little bit more organized next up is the quarterly overview this is another gem from rosie all of the inserts are from rosie I mentioned this in another video, but I am trying to stick to like one or two companies for inserts. And since I order the cloth and paper sub boxes, like that already counts as one because I'm sure I'm going to get stuff in the boxes that I'll want to use in 2024. This year, I am elevating my goal setting strategy. Um, I'm inspired by my recent passion roadmap video. I'm trying to think. You guys would have already seen that if you're watching this video. When tackling my quarterly goals, I'm gonna be referencing my passion roadmap. And this approach is about breaking down ambitious dreams into manageable and actionable steps. So that is what I'm gonna be using my quarterly inserts for. Okay, you know what I just realized? Like, I don't have any dividers. I might have to use a sticky note. Okay, I think I'm gonna use linen. There we go. So I'm gonna use these tab sticky notes temporarily until I get dividers. So let's pop in the month on two pages. This monthly insert will track my day-to-day -day planning. It has everything in there, you know, my schedule, that sort of thing. Um, these inserts are not just about dates and appointments. It's also a page for my monthly goals, to do's and reflections. So the insert starts off with almost like a cover page. It's completely blank. And then you have the monthly overview, a lot of space here. And then the following page is where your goals, your giant to-do list, your important dates. Last year, the cloth and paper inserts that I was using, this came first and then the monthly overview. So this is gonna take some getting used to. Actually, I'm gonna stick a sticky note on here now. Then we have the weekly hourly inserts. This is a substantial amount of paper. And that is because I snagged the dated version. Did not want to run out of weekly inserts like I did this year. 
So I'm pretty much set for 2024 with this pack. Now I picked these inserts because there's ample room for time blocking. There's a column for each day. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I don't time block usually. I normally create a to-do list. So these lined sections are perfect. If you were using the discontinued cloth and paper time blocking inserts like I was, I feel like these are a great replacement. This year's new addition is the daily, hourly, undated inserts by Rosie, providing extra space for those exceptionally busy days. Or like I just showed you, maybe I'm doing something on the weekend that requires some intense planning. And all I have in the weekly overview is a small section for creating a to-do list. I could just use this insert for those, those big days. Now for my social media management section, I'm dedicating a section with two sets of monthly overviews, one for YouTube content and another for short form content. You know what? I do have two packs. I don't think I'm going to put these in the planner because I already feel like this is a lot. And honestly, if this is like too heavy or too much on the rings, I think what I'm gonna do is take inserts out and just maybe you only include inserts by quarter. I mean, it looks so good. Like look at the edges. I mean, I know it's brand new, but still like, it's just so aesthetically pleasing to the eye when it's all the same paper. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a stickler for that. And I, <laughs> I really don't need to be, let's be real. Okay, so I think the next thing I'd like to do is, it's the final phase. I need to dress up this planner with dashboards and deco cards. A couple things that I picked up that I know I'm going to use, all from cloth and paper. I have a year to glance. Like I bought these because I knew I wanted to use this for 2024, but everything else, um, deco cards, and I'm probably gonna add a couple more dashboards. I haven't gone through them or anything like that. I haven't pre-picked them out for this video. So we're gonna kind of go through that process together. Since these two, I guess, I don't even know if I wanna call it a dashboard, but since it, they're both transparent, we need some solid backgrounds behind this. So let's take out, let's see. Okay, these are all the deco cards. I'm gonna take that out in a second. Okay, I don't have many. I don't really have a ton to go through, but I'll just pick out my favorites. So, ooh, this looks really pretty with Cortado. Oh yeah, I think I wanna use these for the social media section. 
Wow, this is really, really pretty. I like that. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, I mean, it's so subtle. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Let me take off, take this off. But it's almost like a really, really light gray. And the text, I don't know if you're gonna be able to catch this on screen, but it looks so pretty next to the Cartado. The question is, do I pop this solid dashboard behind the year at a glance? Or do I pop it after the K? Let's see. See, since this is so, so simple, it's very minimal, this front dashboard. I gotta do something a little, I don't know. I need to show something on this side. Oh, that's really cute. Ooh, I kinda like that. That's really pretty. Let me see what this looks like. That's cute, the fact that it looks like an old receipt. Okay, I'm kind of feeling these, but let's hold off. Oh, these are old. These are some old deco cards from cloth and paper, and I, I still have them <laughs> from like years ago. When I'm doing this, when I'm putting things together, I love to start with the dashboard since this takes up a lot of space. Um, and you know, the dashboard can either be something simple slash minimal like this or a statement piece. I've narrowed down what my favorites are with the deco cards and I, I do feel that I need some sort of a statement piece because the dashboard is so simple. So let's just start laying things out and seeing what looks good. I like that, strangely enough. I kind of like this image here. Like, that's what I need here. I need a statement piece, but I don't like this gap here at the very top, so I think what I'm gonna do is trim that. Alrighty, look at that. Wow, so cute. This looks good. I'm happy with this. So there are two major sections. We have all of the day-to-day -day planning, um, whether that be weeks, dailies, monthlies, all over here, but those all work in tandem with one another. Whereas this section here is all of my social media planning. Social media section deserves its own dashboard. So I'm gonna pop these both in. I liked this one here that said projects by cloth and paper. I thought 
this is perfect for my social media section and then this one here is tough times never last but tough people do okay last but not least um i have a I, I don't know what to call this but it's like a bookmark for the day that you're in it's just a bookmark that makes it easy to find the current week that you're in january 1st lands on a monday This, you guys, this is my 2024 planner. It feels weird to be in something new. I, I feel like now that everything's in and it's completed, I feel really, really good. Like I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks so pretty. Like it feels weird being in a new planner for 2024. Really, really weird. Anywho, as we wrap up today's episode, let me remind you that this video is part of my 12 days of planning series. For those who are new here, we have an ongoing giveaway. In each video of this series, I've been revealing a stationary item that will be part of a grand giveaway. With the lucky winner announced on December 27th, the items I'm giving away are the transparent tape and the glue stick by the company glue g-l-o-o -O. i've been using these all year and i love them i love the aesthetic i think these look so pretty in my pencil case i knew these had to be included in the giveaway to participate subscribe to my youtube channel and answer this question in the comments what if you found out that there is another earth out there the complete mirror of our own and that another you existed on it would you want to meet the second you <laughs> i know super random question but i thought it was pretty interesting me personally i don't think i would want to meet the second me oh i don't know i don't know it's like 50 50 for me a part of me wouldn't want to because i'm very happy with the life that i have but then the other side I am very happy with my life, so why wouldn't I want to know what my life turned out in an alternate universe? <laughs> yeah, I'm 50-50 on that one. Let me know in the comments down below. For a higher chance of winning, feel free to enter multiple times by watching other videos in the series and responding to their unique questions. Thank you for joining me on this planning journey. Until tomorrow's episode, Keep planning and stay inspired. Bye.